Hey guys, today's project is just going to be a pretty quick one. I'm going to show you how I made this jig that I used in last week's video to space out the handles and drill holes for my drawers. Check it out. I started out with a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood and ripped it to exactly 4 inches wide. The length isn't too important, it should just be long enough to accommodate the deepest drawers you think you'll encounter. I moved the fence to just under 2 inches and made a short cut, then flipped the board over and made the same cut. This gives me a thin window in the exact center of the board. I drew lines exactly 1 half inch from both sides. This gives me parallel lines that are exactly 3 inches apart. If you're using handles with different hole spacing, you'll want to change up the measurements to work for you. Starting at an inch, I made marks every half inch over the length of the board. Then using a machinist square, I transferred those marks over to the other line to make sure the holes would end up being perfectly horizontal. This is important to make sure your handles stay level and your holes are spaced correctly. I set up a fence at the drill press and drilled holes at every single intersection, being careful to make sure that I was spot on with every one of them. I ran the board through my drum sander just to take the stain off the top side so I could write on it more easily. Then, I labeled each full value hole so that they were easy to identify when in use. Since the point of this jig is to be able to reference a line in the middle of that saw kerf, I used a half inch cove bit in my router table to clear out some material, making a much wider viewing window. I took two passes to remove the material and was left with less than one eighth of an inch between this channel and the top of the board. I used a scrap of half inch plywood and made a mark roughly in the center of it. Then I used some CA glue and accelerator to join the two pieces of wood together, lining up that mark with my viewing window. Then I added a few brad nails for a little extra insurance. Just to be on the safe side, I checked for square between the two pieces. After using a handsaw to extend the saw kerf, I used a half inch rasp to continue the viewing window around the 90 degree corner and into the top piece. A little hand sanding after that to tidy things up and the jig is finished. To use it, you just have to mark the exact center on the drawer face that you're working on, then line up your viewing window with that mark. Then, you just decide how far down from the top that you want your handles to be and start drilling holes. This jig shouldn't take more than about 10 to 15 minutes to make, but it will save you tons of time when you don't have to measure out every single hole in every single drawer with a tape measure. I spent a little extra time refining mine and made it bigger than I needed for this project so that I could keep it around and use it for all of my drawers in the future. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you guys next time.